Welcome back to the channel. You guys are wondering what's on my on my lips. It's the uh, tart cream thing that I, most people got on their Ipsy bag like two bags ago. So today I bring you guys another review. And I know you guys probably have seen this everywhere on YouTube already because most people already know about it or have talked about it. It's the Super Sizer by Lash Blast Mascara by Cover. I finally picked it up and I wanted to try it with you guys. So let's get into it. So mine is in very black and it looks like this. And the wand looks like this. That's pretty cool. It has little tiny wands. That's crazy. This is like my first time actually gonna try a CoverGirl mascara because usually before I, um, no, actually not my first time, it's the second time because I have the Plumpify by CoverGirl, but I would never use CoverGirl drugstore mascara ever. I will always use the False Slash by Maybelline, and that was like my go-to one for years. But that Plumpify one I like, so hopefully I like this one. Late, uh, so far I've heard good things about it so yeah I'm gonna show you guys how it's on me and then I'm gonna keep updating you guys as well as if it flakes if it's like smudging or etc etc corner to corner volume so with the unique lash coat so I'm gonna bring you guys in closer mm. Okay, so, I used to like how my eyebrows came out today. Finally came out good. So this is how the wand looks. I guess you have to go like that because it has a flat side too. We'll see. First application. Now we're going in with the second coat. And that is the second coat. I'll be back. Let me just go take care of this little. Okay, so that's how it looks with two coats. I do see that it volumized it, but it feels like they clumped up together so much so now I'm gonna try it with the my bottom lashes and see how it goes I was never good at applying mascara at the bottom lashes so bear with me so I don't feel like it actually did something for my bottom lashes. I hardly have any, so I expected it to like boom my lower lashes too, but I am enjoying how my lashes are looking a little, a little messy, but I'm car. We're gonna see throughout the day if they flake. The volume stays like that and yeah so I'll check in with you guys in I guess an hour or so. It is 2.33 so we'll see. I'm liking my makeup today. See you guys soon. Hi guys I'm back. It's been roughly probably Two hours or so already. It's five thirty. Doing a check in. Uh, I love how they made my eyelashes look. Um, they've hold up a curl. And I didn't even curl them. Um, they do have like that spidery type of look to them right now. Just that my bottom lashes, I couldn't really do them. So, oh, there you go. I tried cleaning up the bottom part of it. Don't mind my brows. I gotta go get them done somewhere. Else. But that's how they look. I like them. 
I like how it, I just love how it looks. I had I like how it looks. It reminds me a lot of the um roller lash kind of when it was still wet. So I would rate this from one to ten like uh eight almost to a nine because it does apply really wet and it doesn't dry quick. At least for me it doesn't. Um it took me a while to actually get it dry. I had to like be like this afterwards. Um I like the wand but I know it's just me because I still haven't improved in applying mascara on my bottom lashes so that's one of the reasons that I didn't like I don't know but see I like how it volumized it how it curled it how it just elongated them and yeah but I keep using it yes will I recommend it to anyone yes will I go and get the waterproof one no because I really do not like but overall, I like it, I enjoyed it, and I will keep using it. And yeah, until next time, lovelies, this is the end of the video. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.